Hey everybody, how's it going? It's your man here, Kittery85, and I am back for um, Sun and Moon coverage. I'm not sure what this is going to be. This is going to be my first reactions, and if you guys really don't think it is, then you know what? Go ahead and don't think that, but I have not swallowed myself on anything today. It's midway through the day, and finals are over, and here's my predictions. My predictions. These are not what's actually going to be released I hope because then I'd be kind of mad at myself but I think what's going to be announced is um the legendaries names and like types and all that stuff that they did for the starters that's going to be released they're going to like do the same thing for like the two root one Pokemon you know how they did uh Fletchling and uh Bunnelby that's what they'll do and then they'll uh give us the starting town and uh starting town and maybe a little bit about route one uh all i can see is that it's 135 i have not looked up at the tab we're gonna go full screen no no we need we need to do we need to do 720 i'm gonna i'm gonna probably pause the video until we have everything loaded so we can all watch on 720p as you guys are probably gonna be so hyped along with what I'm going to be, um, as I said, finish finals. I did not want to spoil myself on anything, and I'm so happy that I didn't. Uh, today's the second to last day of school, so we'll have true first reactions because I have not gotten spoiled, but it'll be easier to do first reactions when I'm out of school, so that'll be good. Um, and I have not looked on Cerebi. You can see Cerebi's open. You know what? You know what? I have not reloaded this. This is one six one twenty sixteen at that you at six thirteen Eastern Standard Time. So you can tell I didn't I have not reloaded. We're almost all the way loaded through this video, and I am so hyped. Credit credits to Pokemon by the way for um this video. Obviously, uh, everything is so hyped. The Pokemon community is gonna erupt, uh, like it probably already has, but. I'm very sad that I've missed the fun uh, yet, at least. But anyways, we're almost loaded. Um, again, I apologize. Uh, well, not again. This is the first time I'm apologizing. But I do apologize for uh, you guys having to wait for this. You've probably already seen the trailer. But maybe not. If you guys haven't, that's good. Um, I'm definitely going to be uh, editing this ASAP. And obviously I'll have coverage. I'll be on the Sun and Moon website after this. All I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to um, look at this now. I'll probably pause, go to the Sun and Moon website, Cerebi, and maybe Bulba News. Um, but it looks like that we have this video all loaded for you guys. And I, I, I'm not seeing it. I don't see that. I almost looked at it. Please, erase. I'm going cross-eyed right now. All right. Powerful legendary Pokemon. What is that? Oh, that it, it is psychic steel. What the heck is wrong with that thing? Oh my! What the heck? Full metal body? Is that its signature move? That HP bar looks so good. Sun steel strike. Hello, it's literally coming from the sun. That HP bar is so epic. And yeah, of course, psychic ghost shadow shield. What is that? Oh, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. Is that is this the move that we're gonna see? What what's the move? I forget what it was called. Did they show it? Did they show it? Yeah, here it comes. Moon guy. Not the best move, but yo. Gengar confirmed for the game. Hello! And the Lolo region is Moko Islands. Yo! Oh my god, that's awesome! Can we get like pictures? And the phone rings. Choose your hero. Alright, so is this kind of character come on? Professor Kakui. I knew it was the cousin. I knew it was. There we go. Lily. Kakui's mysterious assistant. We haven't seen him. How? New friend. I knew it. That gave me kicks. Hello, what is this? There's a Rotom in your Pokedex? What is this? New Rotom form? Yo, it's a new Rotom form. Hello, hashtag Game Boy Luke. Available November 18, 2016. Yo. I am so hyped. All right, so let's go back and confirm what was um, announced. We have the legendaries names, their abilities, their types. As I said, um, 
have uh, the yeah we have the the multiple islands which was pretty much speculated it's almost Hawaii. We have okay no we have Kukui. Um we have Lily. Um and How or wh whatever his name. And then we have confirmed Rose on Pokedex form. Hello. The next generation holder Rotom has gotten special body. Yeah. Alright, available okay. So we have everything. You know, I'm so oh my god. I know I know that's not any new Pokemon, but we have confirmed types, abilities, and we're gonna speculate the crap out of this, you guys. If you guys don't know, tomorrow I'm gonna have a speculation video on something I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna have speculation out the wazoo. But right now, I'm gonna be going with coverage. Um and right now, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and um, pause. I'll get the Sun and Moon website out, and we're just going to cover everything in and out. We're not going to miss a single freaking beat. So I will see you guys on the other side. All right, you guys, I have gone ahead and gotten to the Pokemon Sun and Moon website. I've also done everything on Twitter. There's another video there that I might have to discuss tomorrow after when you do speculation this is just coverage coverage on what's going to happen in my ideas so we have uh the video here um and then we have two videos and we have um right here uh um there's a special video on the japanese site but uh, they updated this. There's a new feature where you can scan QR codes in order to read a Pokemon in its Pokedex data to explain where you can find it. You can also share codes with a friend who's registered in your Pokemon. Alright, that's pretty cool. Confirm that Pokemon Sun and Moon will be featured on Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3 June 14. It's pretty cool. Um, and then they'll have a Pokemon Go Q&A on, on June 15. And that's going to be really cool. Um, they have something about the Pokedex, I'm not sure yet, but that's pretty hype. Um, so we have more stuff here uh, in the Sun and Moon. We have cool features, we have videos, we have Pokemon and Alola region. We're going to go ahead and cover Pokemon first and foremost. We already know what the starters are about, but we're going to freaking... Uh, oh, we here we go. We have uh, a quote. So... How am I gonna say this? Cause I, I need somehow something to say this. Can't be this. Sol Galio. Sol Galio. Sol Galio. There we go. Sol Galio and Lunala hold a vital key to your adventures in Pokemon Sun and Moon. These two are legendary Pokemon and they play a crucial role in the story, but their place in the world is still wrapped in mystery. Interesting. We're gonna go ahead and check out Sol Galio. I'm not sure if I'm team sun anymore since that thing's not a fire type but we're gonna have to see this thing is the sun pokemon soon maybe if you want to put it on the end it's 11 to 507.1 pounds psychic and steel type that's actually a really cool typing because you know why steel is probably the most offensive type in the game and psychic is probably one of the most like highest attack in the game I'd say it and fighting so that's really cool I'm still probably team some but I'm not sure yet uh, 507.1 pounds like I said psychic steel and its ability is full metal body which as we saw in the uh, trailer um it has um it's basically clear body which I mean it's not super cool but I love the <laughs> the ability name so now we know that the stuff on um, outside of Sol Leo is metal so that's pretty cool and here we go, we're gonna, I'm gonna, uh, go ahead and, uh, talk about this. Since ancient times, Sol Galio has been honored as an emissary of the sun. It is referred to with the reference as the beast that devours the sun. Sol Galio's body holds a vast amount of energy, and it shines with light when it's active. Seeing that it's flowing main with a remarkable resemblance to the sun. Its signature move is Sun Steel Strike, an attack that charges at an opponent with the force of a meteor disregarding the target's ability all right so basically this if this move was a ground type it would not affect um it wouldn't affect levitate so if you use this move on a gengar it'd be fine but anyways let's go on to its ability 
Solgaleo's ability is Full Metal Body, a new ability that no previous Pokemon has had. With the Full Metal Body ability, a Pokemon's stance will not be lowered by the effects of an opponent's moves or ability. Alright, so that is basically Clear Body, uh, which is kind of sad, because I'd really like to see this thing have a better ability. But we're going to see, um, I'm guessing Sunsteel Strike's probably going to be a Steel type move, since it has Steel in the name, and since I just don't see it being a Psychic type move. Um, and now let's go ahead and look at Lunala. Um, as I said, I'm really hyped for this, as I said. Um, Anyways, we have Lunala here, the Moon Pokemon, or the Moan Pokemon, if you really want to say it that way. It's 13 feet, 1 inch. <laughs> Pretty tall, god dang it. And 264.6 pounds. It's Psychic and Ghost with the ability Shadow Shield. So, Psychic Ghost. I like Steel Psychic a little bit better, but I like how they're going back to the Gen 1 roots and making Psychic-type legendaries. I like that a lot. And... Ghost type, I don't think there's too many ghost legendaries that I can think of at the top of my head. I actually can't think of any. So that's pretty cool. And its ability is Shadow Shield, as I said. And we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to talk about this. So, since ancient times, Lunala has been honored as an emissary of the moon. It is referred to with the reference as the beast that calls the moon. Lunala is constantly absorbing light and converting it into energy, with the ring wings spread to absorb the surrounding light and glittering like a crescent moon. It resembles a beautiful night sky. Lunala's signature moon, Moongeist Beam, at God dang it. Lunala's signature Moongeist Beam attack releases an ominous beam of light that disregards the target's ability. So basically, what we're looking at is two moves here. Um, I'm guessing this one's going to be Ghost, because I'm guessing the other one's going to be Steel, and I wouldn't really want to see two Psychic moves. Um, and, uh, so basically we're going to see that these two moves disregard the abilities, so that's going to be cool. Um, Lunala's ability is Shadow Shield, a new ability that no previous Pokemon has had. With the Shadow Shield ability, a Pokemon will take less damage from an attack that lands when the Pokemon has full HP. So, this is basically multi-scale, which is great because this this is really cool, but I'm kind of sad that this thing has such a better ability than uh, Solgaleo. Um, probably, uh, we'll, we'll see though. Um, we have all that down there. So that's really cool. Right now, this is all we know about those two. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and check out the Alola region now. We're gonna search this site from top to bottom, and we're gonna see what we can do. So we have this new picture of the Alola region, and as you can see, um, it's, uh, it is, in fact, four different islands. And that's really cool, unless you want to count that as five. I, that'd be super cool if that was, like, the Elite Four right there, but that's for another video. Um, just right now, um, this is, seems like the biggest, uh, seems like the biggest island, but that's probably because it's the closest. I think these are all probably even, uh, things, but right now, let's take a look at this. Doesn't that shape right there kind of look like Hawaii Island? Pretty cool, right? And now we can see that, uh, here, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and look up, uh, Hawaii right now. Hawaii and we're gonna see like a map of it and we're gonna see it. that looks like Hawaii Island just with like the rocks and stuff so that's pretty cool um I think it'd be super cool if you could if these were routes um I know 7.8 and ten too much water but here's another thing see that little island over there and what are those clouds covering over there pretty interesting is they're on different sides and it, this looks kind of like a ball of like earth so that's pretty cool um <laughs> I love it. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, can I see like map? Please, is this a map? Very not. No, it's not. It's a map. Thank you. I want to see like how this is. So, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So, take a look at that right there, and take a look at that. You have see the little tail on the end right there, and you can see like how it dips down. 
uh, pretty cool. They definitely got uh, an influence from Hawaii. Um, and you can see there's two mountains right there, and there's one big mountain here. So that's that's really cool, unless you want to count that as a mountain. So that looks like a desert. And now you see this island right here. I think this is the island. No, this is the island that we originally saw, I think. It's one of these two. We definitely did not see that island. I can tell you that right now. Um, but I think it was this one um, that we originally saw. Um, because you can see, like, that's Honolulu right there, and that's Oahu. This is probably Maui. Um, and the reason I think it's Maui is because you can tell, like, this part, because in Maui, I was in Hawaii, like, a couple years ago. This is, like, a touristy part. This is where we stayed. And there, I think there, there was a ton of mountains here, so they kind of flattened it out a little bit. You can tell right here, they definitely paid attention to the road to Hana, because that's really cool. The road to Hana was one of the most breathtaking experiences that I've ever seen. And maybe they kind of moved it over there, because I know the road to Hana has a black, uh, black sand beach, but... Right now, this is definitely Oahu. This is this is Maui. This is Oahu, and then the final one I'm guessing is Kauai. Uh, I think you call it. And then that little one over there, Kauai, uh, is that right there? It might have like a little legendary event there. <laughs> but uh, we have a dock here, and I we did not. We only visited Oahu, and now we didn't visit Kauai. But you can see that there's a city right there, um, kind of like that. Um, and then there's a city over there, like there's two cities over there. Um, my only concern about this region so far is, I mean, it kind of looks small. I feel like if you don't fit three or four gyms on this island, then you're not going to be able to uh, have eight gyms. Because my guess is if you're going to have eight gyms, you're gonna say three or four here, uh, two here, two here, and one or two here. So I'm gonna say three, two, that's five, two, and one. And then that's just whatever. So yeah, that's basically my only concern right now. Um, what we have right here, um, we have the Alola region. Um, your new adventures in Pokemon Sun and Moon will take place on the tropical islands of the Alola region. The Alola region centers around four islands rich in natural beauty and an artificial island. So we have four islands rich in natural beauty and an artificial island. Um, I'm guessing this is the artificial island right here. Um, because you can kind of see... That's kind of like a face out there. I don't know. Um, okay then. Uh, I will not look at that right now. Um, any Pokemon that have never been seen before, I'll, I'll try to do that. Alright. This is like the... Alright, so there's people up So, alright, this is the kind, of, kind of the part that I didn't focus on too much. The world of Pokemon Sun and Moon is filled with many colorful people in addition to the fascinating Pokemon. Meet some folks that you'll encounter as you travel through the Alola region. So we have the hero and the heroine. Heroine? I don't know. Heroine? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, you will choose to be a hero or heroine, maybe. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. In Pokemon Sun and Moon, and you can name yourself whatever you like, the story begins right after your character has moved into the Alola region. No sooner have you arrived, then your adventure begins to unfold as you'll meet many, many people and both one as you go. Alright, so... So... Uh... I like the boy character. It really suits me. Like, first. It suits me first. But... I don't know. It's just... Why do you move into the region? Like, 6th gen you move, se now 7th gen you move, and finally, and 1st gen, no, 1st gen, 3rd gen you move. So the last 3 games Pokemon has put out, you have moved to the region. I don't know why, I just feel like that's kind of getting redundant right now. That kind of sucks, but anyways. Yeah, I saw this, I'm sure. You can choose your gender and how you look, obviously. 
that one's pretty obviously me. Um, I like how they're getting four different ones uh, as the uh, skin is getting darker and darker, which is th which is good. I think we definitely need some equality here. Uh, now we're going to talk about Professor Kakui, um, who is the Alola region's dependable Pokemon professor. He leaves near your home and looks out for you. He's passionate about his research to Pokemon moves and sometimes taking direct tips from Pokemon when there was something to be learned from. Sporting a white lab coat slung casually over his bare torso, he shows off his own unique style. Alright, so I learned this from uh, Cosmetic Paparo. Thank you for commenting this. When it said earlier and it said hi, cousin, keep one why just call their friend's cousin for some reason. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. Ask Cosmetic Pyro. But, anyways. That, that's kind of cool. I love that he's just got the lab coat and no shirt under it. Definitely pretty classy. That long hair too. He's not really a professor looking to me. But anyways, we have Lily. There's a mysterious girl who assists the professor. She's a young girl who's about the same age as your character. And she's working as Professor Kiki's assistant for personal regions. She's not fond of making Pokemon fight in battles. But she loves reading and devour many books. Lily will play an important role. <laughs> God dang it. We'll play an important role. Destroy Pokemon Sun and Moon. So this is going to be like your Trevor person probably. Um, who doesn't really want to fight. Um, I just hope that these two are the only rivals. Because I'm sure you're going to have. This is going to be a rival and this is going to be a rival. But I just hope that like. Her story just from this small paragraph that I read. Has a ton of potential. So I hope Pokemon. That they really just make this story big. Like, I don't, I hope they don't make it, like, part, a big part in the story, like, unless they make it really good. I just think that it should be a little side story on how she develops and stuff like that. Because, as it said, one of these, uh, she's working for Professor Kakui's assistant for personal reasons. Personal reasons. That might be a sign. So, we're gonna see how personal reasons expands into something bigger, hopefully. Anyways. Now on to your friend Hal. Hal is a Pokemon loving young boy with a big appetite. Same! Anyways, he's the same age as your character when you move to the Alola region. He makes friends with you right away. He has a real uh, weakness for Malasada, a famous treat in the Alola region, and he is always in search of Malasada shops. He's a big hearted boy who really loves Pokemon. Right. Malasala, or something like that. What is it? Malasada. I'm gonna look it up and it, Google's probably just gonna correct it to something. Anyways. Malasada. Of course! Fried dough. Oh my goodness. It's a Portuguese one, bro. Um, Leonard's Bakery. Based in Honolulu, Hawaii. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Now who's in? Who's trying to fall? I just want to look at Alright, I don't think that's anything, but anyways, that's pretty cool. Um, You already know I'm going to make a ton of these when the game comes out. It looks like there's something in the middle, which looks pretty goddamn good. Um, It's Portuguese, but it's in Hawaii, so that's that's pretty cool. We definitely got it from Leonard's Bakery. I don't know where Leonard's Bakery is, but shout out to Leonard's Bakery for getting a part in Pokemon Sun. Oh my God, did I just hear that? No. God, I am... We're talking a lot here. Meet new Pokemon using the QR scanner. Well, you could scan QRs in uh, the thing, so. Yeah, you can just scan QR there. Anyways, the Rotom Pokedex is your is the alley on your journey. Community details. Details. Thank you. Alright, so the QR scanner. Pokemon Sun and Moon, there's a QR scanner function that allows you to see more information about Pokemon when you scan QR code patterns. With QR scanner. Scan in a, a code and check the information about the Pokemon that corresponds to that QR code. There are QR code patterns in all in various places all around you, so try scanning them. Alright, so that's kind of cool. 
and it kind of shows that Superior, Dunsparce, and Metachamon are, are all confirmed for the game. And that's cool, because we have a Unova starter. Interesting. Anyways. In Pokemon Sun... Oh yeah, we already read that. Um... By scanning a special QR code patterns, you can register Pokemon of the Alola region to your Pokedex and find out where they live. If you scan in the QR code for a Pokemon you haven't yet caught, you can check its habitat and search it out. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then you can play the QR code patterns for Pokemon you have caught in your own Pokedex. If you and a friend show each other the QR code patterns for the Pokemon you have caught, you can both register the Pokemon in your Pokedex. So that's pretty cool. Um, not sure how that's gonna work, but I still think that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I think we're getting down to the nitty gritty now. Um, obviously tomorrow there's definitely gonna be some theory floating around, and I'll have to cover it, but anyways, we have the Rotom Pokedex. Why isn't it not letting me click? Please and thank you. Can I reload the page, maybe? Let me load. Please. Why? I know there's a page here. Thank you. Oh my god. So, this actually confirms Rotom for the game too, I think. Um, Rotom po Pokedex is an ally on your journey. I think that's pretty cool that a Rotom has a Pokedex. Anyways, the Pokedex is a convenient tool that records information about the Pokemon that you see and catch during your adventure. In Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, your character receives a special Pokedex from Professor Kukui to support in you in your travels. It's known as the Rotom Pokedex, and it's inhabited by Rotom, a Pokemon with power to reside in various electronic appliances. It does much more than record Pokemon info. It sparkles with its own personality. The Rotom Pokedex shows your current location and your next destination, and it gives you the advice of where to go next based on the conversations you have with others. It's likely to be a great help to you on your adventure. Okay, I like that because it's because I feel like it's gonna be nice using your own resources. I hope they make it so like sometimes you'll be told where to go, but at other times uh, you don't know where to go and you have to check your Rotom Pokedex. Because otherwise nobody really uses the Pokedex all that much. Um, so that's pretty cool. And we have the Rotom Pokedex is an extremely rare device. There are only a few trainers that have one, even in the Alola region. I hope this becomes a new form, and I hope beco it becomes OU. Ha! <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we have the two videos here. Um, and right now, that's it. So if you guys enjoyed uh, the coverage video of Pokemon Sun and Moon, uh, make sure you mock punch that like button and show your hype for Pokemon Sun and Moon in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe if you guys have not also because you don't want to miss any ounce of Pokemon Sun and Moon content. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to get up out. This is Kato 5 signing out. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have yourselves a good day.